way, guys. <clears throat> Hey guys, this is McFluff. Hey everyone, this is McFluffy2605 here, playing Welcome to the Paradise Z demo. This is my first time trying it. Um, I don't know how long the demo is. So yeah, um, I don't know if you're gonna... Are you tired of constantly fleeing? Of hiding? Of struggling in a world infested by zombies? Are you exhausted? Without resources, a home, without anyone to rely on. Don't despair. Hang in there. You still have a chance. Join us. Join Paradise. Here in Paradise, everyone is safe and everything is secure thanks to our Zombie Guard technology. It's a haven of peace, where zombies are under our control. Here, zombies no longer attack you, they defend you. Yes, you heard that right. It's incredible. Thanks to our zombie guard technology, zombies have become genuine bodyguards that serve you. Thousands of acres where the living are back in control and existing in harmony, far from the pandemic. Thanks to this groundbreaking technology, stores, security guards, hospitals, industry, movie theaters, a safe place for everyone, where men, women, and children have nothing more to fear from outside zombies. You don't need money, a title, or diploma to get your own zombie guard. Everyone is welcome in paradise. Everyone is welcome in Par Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome. <laughs> Like and everything. I did a change in settings to give around change some resolution options if you're gonna play the game on a uh, Steam. You do want to like or any kind of platform you play on. I mean, it's on it's on Steam for the demo of this game. I don't know if it's on other social media platforms if it's on digital stores besides this one, but yeah. Yeah, you guys can tell I use a giant cursor for this, so that means you need to put your C. them all day. Don't even need to fetch wood. They feed the generator all by themselves. No more worrying about electricity. Maybe I could teach them to cultivate my veggie garden. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. Are you wanting to move in here? Uh, wait. Uh, hold up. What am I supposed to do? No one ever wants to move in here. Yes, the bylaws. Yes, that's it. Rule number one of the Paradise Bylaws. To gain authorization to move in, you must have a Zombot. No one should move around in Paradise without Zombot protection. So before anything else, find a Zombot. Go see Bob. He's my mine. <laughs> Is 
you know, you're like way over here. So yeah, this is the actual, like, so this is how big. Some games, some games controllers are different. Like none of the controller or PC or mouse and keyboard. Some of them are like quite um, different ways to actually control the game or control how you move and stuff. But yeah, but yeah, this is all your menus, how to locate your uh, legend, what you call it. So like all this stuff works. And Bosses, maybe. So it's like the player wanted me, I'm over here, I'm down. I'm button. Yeah, I'm down here, I'm player one, this is survivor right here, this is your what is it here? Oh your uh different things are just basic information like your outpost, your pylon, your walls, a book in the planet, what's the other area, hunting area, maybe some yeah, so different points, different things. So this, right, this, so this one here, that's in orange, this one down here, is your pylon. This is your outpost, I think. I guess. I'm not quite sure. But yeah. P-40-3, the emotional support robot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your zombot with a saddle, then order it to heal while in combat and to collect items while out of combat. That's it! A Zomba to heal you, transport you, and collect items. Hmm? There's more to life than combat. Okay, I love the, the comedy of this in the game. Oh, wait, it's in there. Archives P-40-3, the emotion... Oh, so if you want to skip that, you just press the square button. Invitation, open buzz. Look, you're in the little rock. Like the buzz only got so far and like that was it. It's back to you. Yeah, she's like a little hot icon. You see like where, um, you see like the little highlight icon with the target menu, the little... Yeah, nice. That's when you don't want to get hit. <laughs> you feel like kind of something. It kind of reminds me of, um, the combat, like this kind of like, uh, over the... Like isometric kind of thing, where it's not like top down, it's not third person, it's 
kind of reminds me of, um, of, uh, uh, Dark Alliance. It's like one or two, really, in the answer. But, uh, like, in terms of, like, not the actual gameplay, but more like in terms of the actual camera work. This is the latest demo, so, so far, all kinds of things like can't do, can't do. So 
most of it's just like um, stat effects, like status effects, like more damage, more finishes, and all that. So yeah, it's almost like like increases with this man. got the Zombot technology back up and running. The zombie hacking. You want Zombot? I can't give you mine. I need them too much. So, you should capture your own. Grab a broken helmet from one of the malfunctioning Zombots in front of my camp. Repair it and force it onto the head of a wild zombie. Haha! <laughs> if it starts wanting to eat you, it worked! If not, uh, run! Oh, good. He gave me the left to make it. It makes sense. Well, I've had a bunch of them, so. Yeah, it's
I say we have for this other game, I say try this out. Arcade's P-89-5, the social distancing zombot. Open the portable pylon configuration menu. Equip your zombot with spiked armor and a bat. And order it to use this to provoke enemies while in combat. And that is it. First with the spikes and your zombots that. The enemy shouldn't get any closer, but if provoked, they won't be able to help themselves. Size orders to use the tech at the right. You'll be my guinea pig. Take this antenna, attach it to your backpack. With this, you'll have much finer control. Well, feel free to give it a try. Zombie hacking was quite buggy until we started working on it. Me and the buddies. I know what I'm doing, trust me. This thing probably won't explode. I was about to go out there and you picked it, it up for me. I'm loving this. This is, this is quite cool. This is really quite cool. We have stuff like this over here. The leaves and all this, I like grabbing this stuff. 
I quite like this. It's quite cool. The story of the Torio, and then you're going to keep me another pack of my zombies. Sorry, zombies. Not zombies, zombies. That's not it. with mood, my zombies are down, and the gate won't close without electricity. I 
Again, buddy. Come on. Another long time over here to the left, as y'all can see, right over here. This is gonna be fun, actually. Quite. I could see. Oh, the saddling for two. Oh, two. Now you're talking to Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, that's what we got. We got different colors on this stuff. Let's go to I. Oh, wait, the B. Okay, B. Oh, you're gonna free. Huh. Well, I'm gonna do that. This is just weird but cool. This is seriously, seriously, that's right? pretty funny but pretty cool at the time. And then you probably have to support the weight of it. How did you manage to make it here? You're looking for a weapon? Good uh, timing. My uh, Zombots have started attacking everything that moves, including me. I need someone to teach them some manners. I'll let you take their weapons if you find them off. Oh, 
destroy the pylon, kiddo. I'm done with that brain hack and this new favorite technology. I can put a setup here. Kiddo. I didn't have enough bullets to finish him off, but otherwise I most certainly would have. This cataract won't stop me hitting the bullseye. Anyway, can I sign you a little girl for your trouble? What? you never heard of me? I'm the most famous, the most celebrated, and the sharpest of all sharp shooters in the history of circus, kiddo. I'm Pedro the Great, because I love you. Zombies start to swarm when you try to run away. It's best to take them out right away. If you run, you're as good as done. A quick punch, and you won't be done. <laughs> oh, 
see it. You all see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a bucket. That's what it is. Bucket. Like, this is really funny. This is, I'm going to enjoy this. I like trying to play demo versions of this and check it out. That's nothing I like about 
whether it be a physical or a digital game, you like a game has a demo on it, buy it, see if you like it, see if you enjoy it, see if it's basically something you'd be interested in, rather than you can't ask about the game, like the digital demo is like you have a game. What in it and if you like the game and loved it, then you buy it from me. Possible. But some people like they like to like turn the demo over and over again non-stop. Basically, like just training, but I think like we get like level up more. Yeah, that's very bad aiming. <laughs> not my fault. Let me game, not my fault. Yeah, 
I think I'm gonna call this video done, guys. I think I'm gonna call this video done, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, let me just check this. Oh, that's my guy. Oop, oh. oh. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna call this video done. I was going to do like 10 to 20 minutes, but like, you know what? Hour long gameplay content, it'll work. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys give this a like. Subscribe. Comment down below. If you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon and click on notifications. I don't know what I'm gonna do a video next time. I'm gonna I was supposed to be going for a walk today, but I wanted to do like I was only supposed to do a few minutes. And it's only one minute one. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys love this video. Have a good day. This is McFluffy 3655 here, signing out. Bye!